Hello there, welcome back to my channel, Antoinette here from Antoinette Intuitive Tarot and Jewellery. I wanted to get a video in my kitchen for the setup behind me before I take it all down and get ready for the next season. Um, one, just so that some of you who are curious and wanted to see what was going on behind me during the month of um, Halloween or October was going, you know, what it looked like. Well, here it is. These are just backdrops from Amazon, and if I step out of the way. Um, I think you'll agree, it's pretty spectacular. This wall is temporary though, so it's not going to stay for long. And I don't know, this might be the last year that it's there because we're building on the other side. So it's about to be knocked through. All that said, welcome. So it is now November and I just thought I'd give a little quick October sort of recap and wrap up of things that I have not talked about um, in my videos because they've all been sort of unboxings, openings, reflections and visits to the Witches Museum and my Boss Castle Moon Retreat. So I just thought we'd do the other little bits and um, yeah, just grab a cup of tea and let's have a little walk through. Right, I have already started taking my decorations down so there was more here than what you see now. Um, just for those who I know have seen it somewhere else in the live. Now then, let's start. So for the month of October, I was on that pre-order list many, many months ago for the um, Jack-O-Lantern Tarot, which never arrived in time. It actually arrived uh, somewhere between 4 and 6 p.m. on Sunday the 31st of October. And at that time of night, I had kind of done everything that I was going to do and I was relaxing with family and we were um, sat by the fire having a lovely cosy evening with hot chocolate and stuff. So just figured I could quickly show this. These are the backs to the deck. Um, I'll do a walkthrough. I know it's a bit late, but they'll be there for you. So you can choose if you want to get it for next year. I just don't want to get them all out of um, order. Maybe this is going to be easier. So I know there's already plenty of walkthroughs of this on um, YouTube, but I will do a quick flip through of them at some point in the next month or so, um, as there's no rush now. But that's the Jack O' Lantern Tarot for those who are interested. From was this Los Scarabeo? Yes, I believe it was a Los Scarabeo deck. So, you know, much as you'd expect, cardstock, tuck box. Um, but great fun kind of imagery. I think it may be less, although it's themed, I think it's going to be less themey than the Halloween Tower, which I have in the tin, because that one is very definitely purple orange. It just feels, and because it's named Halloween, it feels like it's just black, whereas perhaps pumpkins, maybe a bit more creepy, and you can take them throughout the year. I have a book, which I think I've shown possibly in May, but I still haven't got around to reading. So I have a book on my shelf waiting to be read. This is the Flame in the Cauldron, um, an, a book of old style witchery by Orion Foxwood. Um, it's about his journey with old style witchcraft and folklore, spanning the parts of the world that he lives in and his ancestral history. So it looks like it's going to be quite interesting to get into. I believe it was recommended on another channel, which is where I picked it up or why I picked it up. I think it was Avalon Cameron, actually. Um, and I know I got this around the same time as Thomas Keldon's book, which I can't remember for the love of money the name of. Anyway, so that's that one. Um, if that's back to front, I'm very sorry. So it's The Flame in the Cauldron. I, I was just got this on Amazon. Same with the jack-o'-lantern, so um, stuff I buy usually comes from Amazon just because it's easier to get at the moment and with the whole pandemic that's the easiest way of getting things generally. As I've been going throughout this year I've used Leah Lindert's um, Almanac which is a seasonal guide, so this is to 2021, it's a beautiful little hardback almanac. Um, what's that one? I have talked and shown this one as well in Previously, I think it might have been around my Beltane video. 
and this goes through monthly with things in it um, that corresponds to the month or the season um, and it also has little sailors ditties or songs um, <laughs> and there's that card that I loved so much last year from the flickering cauldron it's in here as a bookmark for this time of year Let's have a little look what we have in here for November. So you always get that beautiful picture. And then you get a little rundown of what's going on for days of the month. And this one says, so for November, November the 1st is uh, Samhain, end of the harvest, beginning of the winter celebration, a Gaelic pagan, neo-pagan tradition in brackets. We have All Saints Day. On the first, we have All Souls Day on the second, we have Diwali on the fourth, Guy Fawkes Night on the fifth, the Bridgewater Carnival on the sixth, Armistice Day, Remembrance Day the eleventh, um, Martin Mass, which is on the eleventh, there's a Remembrance Sunday on the fourteenth, the Jule Nouvelle Day on the eighteenth, Stir Up Sunday, never heard of that one, on the twenty first, Thanksgiving, um, which is obviously American, on the twenty fifth. I think that says the first Sunday in Advent for the Christian calendar on the 28th of November. Um, actually, my anniversary, and despite all that, we go out and buy a tree and we also put our lights up outside on that weekend. The 29th of November to the 6th of December is Hanukkah. Um, and we have St Andrew's Day on the 30th of November. The Romany name for the month, I cannot pronounce, but basically it's the month of salmon here. We have how to garden by the moon and new moons, moon rises and sunsets um, at St Michael's Mount or Hopton on Sea, for those who are familiar with those two places. St Michael's Mount is in Cornwall. We have a little bit here on the sky at night. So on the 10th, close approach of Saturn on the moon, visible in the dusk from about 4.30, at an altitude of 16 degrees in the south until setting in the southwest at 2100 hours. <laughs> then on the 11th, we have close approach of Jupiter and the moon, visible from around 4.30 at 16 degrees um, until about 6 o'clock. Okay. We have the seas. Sea shanty, sorry, not tail or song. Sea shanty is for fishies. No, I am not going to sing it, but you get the rhyme and the verse here. There's the gardening, the kitchen, the season, in season. So we have the hedgerows, woods and fields, wild greens, fruits, fungi and roots. From the seashore, we have the fish and, sh fish and shell fish. From the kitchen garden, types of vegetables that you might be cooking with. Uh, Farms, usually there's a lot of um, geese around on the farm, so goose would be a good one for cooking if you're a meat eater. And uh, traditional imports, things like truffles, wines, cranberries, satsumas, clementines, pomegranates. We have a recipe for cream of mushroom soup and green sauce with rosemary croutons. Oh, that sounds good. I could probably do some rosemary croutons. The pilgrimage of the month is Kilmartin Glen for St Andrew's Day. And a little bit on the migration, and then we're back to the start of the following month, December. Get my bookmark back in there. So that's my almanac. And I just kind of clip in and out of it, use it. When I'm writing up in my um, seasonal grimoire, just if I need some information about the month or the season that I'm in, I just come to this one and use that one to help jog my memory or remind me about things that are going on. And in November, we also have the Magpie in the Wardrobe, my um, folklore and curious tales for the British Isles. So this one, well, I say British Isles, it doesn't actually say it on here. But this one, so for November, let's see what they have for a traditional. So curious days and November diary days. 1st of November, Samhain, All Saints Day. 1st to 2nd, All Souls Day, so, All Souls Day and Soul Cakes which is a tradition, um, I'll read about that in a moment. We have the 4th of November, Mischief Night, thought to date from the 1700s when custom of lawless hours or days prevailed in Britain and the usual laws did not apply. Sounds much like a 
film or two that's been produced lately, does it not? And then we have the fifth Guy Fawkes news from Finite, the tar barrel racing and turning on or turning the devil's stone, the 23rd St Clement's Day and the 30th St Andrew's Day. Last Sunday of the month, stir it up Sunday, traditional for everyone in the family to stir the Christmas pudding mixture while making a wish for those that are still making their own Christmas pudding. So there you go, last Sunday of this month is that the 29th, that would be your stir it up Sunday on your Christmas pudding making. Soul cakes. In the 19th and 20th centuries, children would go out souling, which would be going from door to door singing and requesting soul cakes. These are like hot cross buns, except they're without the currants and the cross. Um, so little buns. There is more to go with that tradition. I have heard lately, but um, I can't recall it. I'm sorry, so I'm not going to misquote it um, at this point in time. We have some information in here about chimney sweeps. Starting work as young as six-year-olds, chimney sweeps apprentices were young boys and sometimes girls who worked for their keep, sleeping on the floors under the sooty sacks of their trade and under the control of the master sweep. So for those of you who are familiar, they would then be sent down the chimneys to, or up the chimneys to help clean them in the big rich houses. We have a little bit in here about mushrooms, some silhouettes, silhouette cutting and creations. The Amaryllis, in Greek mythology, Amaryllis was a love-struck maiden who sought the heart of Alteo by shedding drops of blood outside his cottage on the 30th day, beautiful red flowers appeared and Amaryllis won her heart's desire. With its striking colourful flowers, the Amaryllis is the perfect winter bloom. Um, I'm guessing that's why we then have the Amaryllis in our houses at this time of year. Bangers and mash magic. Prepare and make your normal mash. Bake your bangers in the oven with tradition with the additions of rosemary, thyme or any herb that will enhance the type of sausage you have chosen or the traditional grainy mustard and honey. When your mash is ready, place an arrange button, key and seashell into the saucepan, mix well and place in a bowl. Everyone should grab a fork or a spoon and dig into the mash to see who finds the different charms. Well, as long as I'm not chewing on the charms, but um, apparently that is a thing. That's interesting. See, these things I didn't even know about. That's what I love about this book, just these little laws handed down, traditions, things that people have been doing for years. So we have the old people who remember Guy Fawkes like when they used to go door knocking, penny for the guy, to collect to um, have a bonfire. Feather fortunes. So feathers are the symbol of justice, air and heavens. White feathers are lucky. If you find one, you will know angels are nearby. A string of feathers was traditionally known as a witch's ladder. So just a little tidbits of information. A man named Tom Smith invented the Christmas cracker in 1847. His idea came from bonbons wrapped in tissue paper and a crackling fire. And that leads us neatly into December or the other. So those are the books anyway and the things that I'll be kind of playing with and delving into the next months, coming months. And I thought what I could do is I could share one of my witches' rooms with you as they are now varnished and I can use them. I showed these in my, um, what do we have? Ah, ah, ah shared these in my video recently um, with my trip and things I purchased at the Witches Museum, although these weren't purchased, this is part of the crafting. So I have the sunshine. Let me just find, because I renamed some of these, the sun. So the symbolism for this one, and now the new day dawns, the sun rises over a calm turquoise sea and highlight sparkling ripples in the waves. We sit at the edge of the ocean, a sea of possibilities before us and an open heart, singing soul. The perfect day will take us wherever we want to go in our, ooh, what's that saying? In our coracle of life. 
The sun will warm our faces and the light will fill our souls with love. We are where we are meant to be and it feels good. So that's the kind of book message that goes with the sun. What do you get from that one? I get more, yeah, gratitude, gratefulness, um, having a sunny disposition, a happy outlook on life, um, bringing that sunshine into your life and giving it out as well, sharing it with others, letting everyone else um, feel your warmth and joy in the little things in life, really. So those are my, well, that's my ramble. I don't really have anything else to say. I just literally um, wanted to share and ramble and let you um, see where I'm at and what's going on. Well, I think that's enough for me. I will see you all again in the next one. Who knows, perhaps I'll try and film one. If I get a Christmas backdrop up, I'll try and film the next backdrop or seasonal backdrop. However, if that wall comes down, there will be no more backdrops, which makes me a little bit sad because <laughs> then I don't know where I'm going to put these because I've got quite used to having these things back there um, and I just love changing them as well. So yeah, anyway, take care. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.